Assalamu alaikum. A very warm greetings to one and all present here. I'm Mahari Nafroz, event coordinator of IEEE BBT Women in Engineering Student Branch Affinity and vice chair of IEEE NPSS BBT SB chapter and student of Department of CSE, Bangladesh University of Business and Technology. And this is Tarikuli Samrimon, event coordinator of IEEE BUBT Student Branch and the chairperson of IEEE Council on Superconductivity, BUBT Student Branch Chapter, and a student of Department of Tripoli, Bangladesh University of Business and Technology. Welcome to our another highlighted webinar. Thank you all for your precious time and attending today's webinar. The webinar is organized jointly by IEEE Sensors Council, IEEE Biometric Council, IEEE NPSS, IEEE Council on Superconductivity BUBT Student Branch Chapter and IEEE BUBT Women in Engineering Student Branch Affinity. At the initial stage of the event, I would like to request to present the introduction video of the IEEE BUBT Student Branch and its all the chapters and councils. It has been over a year since the work from home setup came into being. COVID-19 pandemic has affected each and every individual, both physically and mentally. Between socializing, parenting, and working, the coronavirus has significantly altered the way we live our lives. In the work of coronavirus global pandemic, work from home, which has been touted as the future of work, as many sectors have started or embraced work from home. So today our honorable speaker, Shomi Mojumdar, will conduct her session on work-life balance amid COVID-19 crisis. She is a research scholar of the uh, Department of Business Administration at Vidya Shagar University, Midnap Medinipur, West Bengal, India. She has two authored books and 20 research papers in national and international conferences and journals. I would like to welcome our speaker and request her to start her demonstration. Uh, thank you for introducing me. A very good evening to all of you and thanks for inviting me in this session. So now I am going to start my topic. Am I audible now? Please, yes. uh, anyone response? Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to share my PPT. 
so now i am i am going to discuss my topic my topic is work life balance in covid 19 crisis when the topic is very much concerned on this work life balance definitely i will discuss with you what is exactly called work life balance and how this covid 19 pandemic has created some negative impact on this work life balance when the what comes what life we have to understand this work life is very much related to the employees who are the employees in this case the people who are working for the organization the business organization uh, different educational institutions or different corporations uh, these people are employees here and these employees are not just simple employees they are resource they are treated as resource now question comes why they are treated as resource so definitely for each and every organization this human assets are very crucial resource and critical resource because they are providing their quality uh, quality time towards their job and they are providing their skill their knowledge their expertise their competencies their talent towards their job to make the job productive and in this way they help the business organization to make money every business whether the business is in small size medium size or a uh, large size business every business has a particular goal what is the goal of this business house basically the goal and objective of this uh, business house is how to make money how to make profit how to make profit maximization which will lead to business growth and development so how this firm can achieve this goal how achieve this profit maximization level or they can successfully uh, run uh, their business uh, long term as well as short term in front of market basically they are utilizing this human assets they are utilizing their talent their knowledge their skill their competencies and by utilizing all this thing they are making their productivity they are achieving their profitable level their profitability and if you think that when employees are working in this organization so definitely they should be very much happy they should be very much uh, uh, satisfied at their job because if people are happy this human resource are happy human resource are very much satisfied at their job definitely they will be contributing high for their organization they will be giving their high effort their best effort towards their organization their engagement level will be high as well as organizational commitment level will be high but on the other hand if these people are not motivated not satisfied or not happy at their work so some negative impact will come in the work juncture what kind of negative impact that uh, that time coming definitely monotony or boredom or you can say fatty and anxiety this kind of negative impact will come to the work uh, place from the side of the employee so it is a responsibility of the employer always this employer should focus on work life balance of individual employee who are serving their best for the organization who are giving their best for this business house and who are spending lot of time to this business organization so definitely employer should focus on this work life balance parameter and they should take care of this work life balance what is the meaning of exactly meaning of work life balance work life balance it means how an individual how an employee can manage his work life along with family life how the individual can manage or balance his professional life as well as personal life but you know that uh, in this uh, uh, nowadays due to this covid 19 pandemic uh, this work from home practice has been incorporated that's why the prolonged working hours there is no such uh, work time boundary there is no fixed time uh, at workplace due to this work from home practice the working hours that is going beyond the boundary level now i am showing five important balls of life which is very much related to work life balance what are these five balls these five balls are work spirit friends family health so you can see 
one ball uh, one ball is denoted as rubber ball but other four balls are denoted as glass ball what does it uh, does it mean what is the significance of this rubber ball and the glass ball this is basically what ball is rubber ball if you throw it it will come back again it will not break but the rest balls you if you say about health family friends or spirit if these balls are thrown it will be broken and it will never come back to its previous shape so that's why one ball of life related to work life balance that is made by rubber and the another four balls denoted as glass ball these balls will be break, broken if it will be thrown it will never come back in the previous shape but the war rubber ball it uh, it will be thrown and uh, after a certain period of time again it will be returned that means it can be recoverable now coming to the next slide my next slide is saying that how pandemic affects on this work life balance of employees due to this prolonged working hours that i was telling you that uh, due to this pandemic time or for this pandemic time already work from home practice has been incorporated every education institute or every business house so that's why the result is prolonged working hours there is no such fixed work hours and in this way the imbalance life is and the health mental health is hampered by and what is the impact of this pandemic on what basically one new thing i want to say to you and say to you and that what life it is this part of from the fact that is boss wear what does it mean boss wear now the question comes exactly what is boss wear boss wear is basically some type of proprietary software that has been implemented by the employer side to the employees uh, anyone please mute the mic okay so when it comes uh, work life and how pandemic affects on work life balance of employees definitely one new thing has been incorporated here that is boss wear now question comes what is boss wear boss wear is basically one commercial software that has been incorporated from the side of employer to their employees it is one kind of software that always monitors their employees about their productivity whether they are working properly whether they are engaging positively whether they are spending their time at work because all are being work from home so employer has some confusion employer has some question in mind so that's why this bossware software controversial software he has introduced to the uh, assistance of employees and to monitor and take whether the employees are productive or not basically this is uh, not uh, working properly because it can create fear among the employees when employees are always thinking in this way that they will be surveillance all the time by the employers so it will create some anxiety it will create some depression at the work so this so called productivity is nothing this boss where has significance in this case and also i want to share one more thing that is uh, from the personal life because our topic is work life balance where individual is very much focused towards the work life as well as the personal life so here personal life if you consider so coffee break tea break lunch break invitation from colleague home invitation from friend home that all are banished due to this prolonged working hours and employees expectation is totally going beyond the boundary level and they have set uh, the working hours gradually up to 24 into 7 in this way covid 19 pandemic affects on employee work life apart from that one main thing is here that is health health one very famous line is their health is wealth that means if people have positive health or people are very much healthy they will be able to earn more and more they will be able to uh, make their wealth uh, so in this uh, 
section, I will tell you that as per research, it has been uh, revealed normally seven to nine hours per night. It is the sleeping hours of one individual. It, it is said by the research work. Research has revealed this uh, statistic that seven to nine hours per night uh, should sleep by every individual person. But due to this negative effect of coronavirus, sleeping time is totally less for every individual. There is ten. Uh, employees are very much tend to uh, sleep less, and uh, the sleep deprivation problem is coming uh, in this section. And what is the main problem due to this uh, sleep deprivation or uh, mental health problem? It can uh, create stroke, coronary heart disease, mental disorders, and anxiety, mental depression, frustration. This kind of problem is incorporated due to this prolonged working hour, stressful environment, undesirable work environment or unpredictable work environment due to this corona virus pandemic time. And also one more thing, research has shown that people who have worked more than 55 hours in a week, they face high risk of stroke rather than the people who have done work below this 55 hours per week. Sleep deprivation is very much related with cardiovascular disease as well as myocardial infraction and sometimes stroke causing death. So in this way, this pandemic has created negative impact on employees health as well as work life. Due to these two factors, sleep deprivation and long working hours, the employee's quality of work life that is getting poor day by day. So what I can suggest in this juncture that employer need to take care of work life balance parameter in this segment because people are critical resource. They are crucial resource. They are assets. Uh, for their organization. You can take one uh, example in this case. Suppose if you take one individual performance and if you take group performance, uh, team performance in any organization, any business, and if you sum up these two performance, it will create organizational performance. It means individual performance and the group level performance and summation of these two parameters, it will create uh, the positive effect on organizational performance. Organization can make their objective very easily. Short term, long term goal can be achieved very smoothly and organization can create a positive name, fame, uh, reputation, recognition, revenue in front of other world. Now coming to this results of balanced work life. What does it mean, result of balanced work life? If work life balance is very much proper and balanced work life exists in workplace, so what will be the result? Definitely a positive result can come from this balanced work life. People's health, people's mental health, physical health, that will be better. Their relationship between the co-workers, between the colleagues, uh, their relationship uh, with the senior, superior or the subordinates, that relationship will be very much strong due to this balanced work life. If people are motivated, they are happy, they are satisfied, they will give their full effort towards their job and they make organization productive. And their employee engagement level, that will be high organizational commitment level that will be very much high their innovative idea their creative idea all will be coming with proper time and it will be implemented towards the workplace apart from that something uh, a good uh, good uh, balanced work life will uh, produce successful people in life because their work life is balanced that means they can easily manage their personal life as well as professional life and when this work life is very much balanced towards any individual employee it will create a successful people or successful person in career as well as in life now coming to this slide what life balance tips to reduce pandemic pressure so i'm going to share that what are the tips or what are the methodology by using that methodology pandemic pressure can be reduced here are a few points i have written first one is deep breath and meditation 
if people take meditation per day fixed time or with deep breath deep breath means minimum 7 to 8 seconds in and out so along with the deep breath if meditation uh, is there uh, for uh, every individual every day so it will uh, reduce the stress of this pandemic it will reduce the work stress and it helps to remove the stressors and second one is exercise and eating exercise regular exercise is very much needed in this juncture because regular exercise creates exercise creates endorphin hormone and that will give a positive impact towards our mind our state of mind that will be very much positive or uh, our mood that will be very much happy due to this endorphin hormone and also our sleep level that will be going very good or better so exercise is very much required in this juncture apart from that eating eating means healthy food having healthy food healthy food in the uh, relation with whole grains fresh vegetables fresh fruits that need to be eat by individual during this pandemic time why they will be doing all this activity to reduce the work pressure to reduce the pandemic pressure to reduce their stress Uh, they need to follow all these things and also define individual space at home that is also one point it means that as we already discussed that people uh, have uh, done work from home practice so it is very much common whenever they are working some disturbance will come uh, from their family members so that's why they need to take or they need to adopt a special isolated place at home where no disturbance will be coming from the family members or any household duty will not go to make any kind of disturbance for the individual individual can concentrate on the work can give his or her full effort towards the work so that's why individual space at home is very much crucial in this case and the last one is reduce multitasking it has been said that sometime when we are doing work from home so many messages are coming so many mails are coming in our inbox and what we are doing that time we are doing work and along with that we are checking all the mails or messages so that time this will create some disturbance disturbance of our present work so it's better whenever you do do that thing on particularly at that particular time don't go for multitasking it will reduce your stress as well so these are few work life balance tips uh, and this way if a individual follows these tips so they will uh, they will get uh, some positive environment work environment when they are working at home now coming to employee engagement uh, some employee engagement uh, activities i have jotted down here during this covid 19 pandemic time first one is virtual yoga as it is already uh, uh, established that work from home uh, is going uh, for this pandemic purpose no phys physical distance we have to maintain isolation we have to maintain so that's why virtual yoga whatever we are doing our work that that is also virtual more digital more so virtual yoga workout that is needed every day whenever people are working but it is said by the company it is said by the organization a little bit time uh, they should set uh, for this yoga purpose or workout purpose but this yoga or workout that should be in digital mode or virtual mode team leader team member all can participate to this yoga workout and expert will be there for the uh, for uh, the entire session virtual team building activities second one is virtual team building activities some team building activities also incorporated in this juncture team building activities means how the team can be uh, strong very much how the team members can be cooperated with each other uh, they are coordinated with each other so apart from professional relation how they can maintain some personal relation with this uh, team members that is also very important thing here and for this virtual team building activities some games are there like code breaking game or a uh, clue murder mystery game uh, then virtual uh, uh, office uh, game or you can say virtual uh, time machine game virtual office olympic game so in this way several team building activities are incorporated for 
making employee engagement highly and third one is virtual group training programs this group training programs because we all know that what is training basically training is uh, is a process by which employee can enhance his skill and knowledge and this group training is based on three parameters one is eq based training emotional quotient second one is communication effective communication based training and third one is uh you can say time management best training so eq based training helps to enhance leadership skill social skill self awareness of every single individual whenever it comes to effective communication uh training so it will help to enhance the written skill uh, then verbal communication non verbal communication all will be strong by attending this kind of training program and third one is time management training time management training helps to make the employee uh, or gives the concept of employee how they can use their time of at its maximum level optimum utilization of the time because so many disturbances are coming due to this work from home practice work from home means household duties are coming as well as work duties are going at the same time so for reduce this disruption this time management training is very much necessary time management will provide them how they can manage their time and how they can utilize their time at highest level next one is virtual lunch and learning virtual lunch learning basically uh, virtually they can gather they can meet they can chit chat uh, some on some informal topic and uh, they can lunch uh, at that time but they are virtually connected just like lunch break at office and also they can learn many more thing uh from uh, each and everyone's personal life so it is totally a chit chat session uh, it's informal session among the team members and last one is cook together online this is also one kind of uh, refreshment program or fun creation program cook together it means uh, what are uh, what the uh, cooking has been made by the employee they can share their recipe with each other uh, apart from their work they can share the ingredients they can share uh, the uh, recipes with each other just chit chatting on that that gossiping on that what they have made uh, at their home in that particular day so they can make discussion so this is one kind of fun creation or you can say refreshment uh, apart from the work because work life is giving too much pressure to make it a uh, reduction or to make it uh, uh, what i can say to make it healthy the work life healthy this kind of employee engagement practice should be incorporated in the workplace or the work section now this is one uh, i'm showing you one website recently we have worked on a website of work life balance where any single individual recently we have done this this is an interactive web interface any user can check his or her work life balance if it is imbalanced how it can be modified and how it can be uh, reached to the balanced work life so for that purpose you can see some likert scale measurement is there 0 to 10 we have taken likert scale values from 0 to 10 and in the left side you can see the entire work life balance has been segmented into few parameters like business life creative life social life love life then uh, life purpose so in this way different parameters of work life balance have been segmented and each and every factor has some sub factors like money and finance career and work health and fitness fun and recreation environment community 
family and friends, partner, love, growth and learning, spirituality. So in this way, the entire work life or area of work life balance has been segmented into different sub parameters. And here we have used Likert scale, one to 10 Likert scale, it has been written here. Any individual or any user can check their status of work life balance if it is unbalanced how he or she can move to balanced work life also this website will provide suggestion on that you can see three colors are here one is green red and blue green color signifies balanced life red color signifies unbalanced life and blue color signifies your life that means user who wants to know his work life balance status so in this way the picture will come after I'm showing you. You have to put the values. Whenever you want to check, you have to put the values between 1 to 10. That how much value you will give for money and finance, how much value you will give career and work, how much value you will give fun and recreation. In this way, you have to put your value as per your understanding that what you feel on this particular parameter. And after that, there is a show button. This is the show button. After this chart, this show button is here. And if you click on this show button, then you will get this diagram, this spider diagram. And in this diagram, you will get balanced life, unbalanced life, as well as your life. Your life means user's life. Now, coming to the next part, after that diagram, it will be shown here that whether unbalanced life of user is there or balanced life of user is uh, there. If the life is unbalanced, so user need to tune it. Tune it means he has to either plus the value or minus the value. He has to increase the value or decrease the value. And after that, here I, I have already, this is an example. I have uh, put the value as per my opinion. Sometime it is nine. Career and work, I have given 10. Health, fitness, I have given seven. Fun, recreation, I have given six. Whatever value is incorporated, that should be based on between one to 10 as per Likert scale. And lastly, after giving this value, either plus or minus, either increase or decrease, lastly, you will get what parameters you should increase and what parameters you should decrease. And whenever after adding values or decreasing values, when the balanced life you will achieve, then this is, uh, this uh, will show to you that you have successfully got your result. And how you can got your result? Be uh, because of this parameters, because of this tuning. If you give here five point you will get some different unbalanced life. But here it is written nine. That means as per your perception, you have to put the value and you have to adjust it accordingly. If you get imbalanced life or your balance is totally unbalanced, you have to tune it accordingly. As per your suggestion, your point of view, you have to tune it and finally you will get the result. And in this red section, you can see that these values are uh, increased values. And in case of this green section, these values are decreased values. That means what are the parameter you have decreased? Community. You have decreased value under the case of community and also you have decreased the value under the case of growth and learning. These green values are signified by this way, that what are the values that are already decreased. And in the same way, these red values are increased. I have given here example, but whenever any single individual will use this platform, they can give this value uh, based on their perception. So here, this money, finance, career and work, fun recreation, family, friends, and uh, partner love these parameters have been increased. And when these parameters are increased, then the unbalanced life is going to reach to 
balanced light. So in this way, the entire website is working. Again, I repeat just one time. So these are all work-life balance parameters and accordingly, uh, according to Likert scale, values should be put here. And after that, this show button, you have to click. Then the spider diagram will come in the screen and you can see your life is balanced or unbalanced. And after getting the result, you have to tune this value as per your choice as per your thinking that where you should give more value where you should give less value and lastly you can achieve uh, this balance part and you can see that which are the parameters that you have increased in this weight color section and which are the parameters of work life you have decreased in this uh, green color section i'm uh, closing up to here thank you ma'am thank you for the informative and wonderful session I would like to ask for presenting the token of appreciation for our honorable speaker, Shomi Majumdar, ma'am. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, thank you everyone. And that will be the end of the wonderful webinar session. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>